Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be installing the electronics in the Asuka. Now I'm going to try to keep this quick and short guys. I'm just going to go over what I chose, what I'm putting in, also what's coming for the buggy as well. And we're also going to go over that servo that I had shown kind of in the unboxing video. Now the neat thing guys about this is hopefully this should go by pretty quick. This combo, the, the Max 8 Gen 2 and that 2250, the 4278 I believe, was in my Kronos XTR. So what I did was I just kind of unbolted the motor mount, slid the motor out, unbolted the battery tray, and then took that whole, because the battery tray and the ES, uh, ESC plate are all one, and took those out. So I had, didn't really have to remove much, just kind of pull the, the wires from the receiver box and that's about it. So as long as these are all the same, which I'm 99% sure that they are, this literally will just drop in. So unbolt the battery tray that's in there now, install the battery and ESC tray, and then do the same thing guys with the motor, pull out the motor mount, slide this new motor mount in and we'll be good to go. Now, I did have a few other motors to try in this and I will be trying guys in the future. Unfortunately, they're stuck at the post office right now. Uh, I don't know what happened, but usually when you order from across the pond, you don't get stuck with duties and taxes. However, this time I got stuck with 40 bucks. So that's where they're sitting because I was at work when they got delivered. But the two motors, guys, I have sitting there right now is they're both rocket motors. One is a 4082 2060 and the other one is a 4076 2250. Now, what was kind of funny is after I looked this over, I was kind of wondering why I ordered these motors because I have a lot of similar motors to this. But for some reason, this was again, and I've mentioned it in many videos, when you get up in the morning and you see something that you think is a good idea and you buy it, and then later when you wake up, you kind of go, why did I order those motors? Uh, but the other motor, guys, I have coming, and it's not nowhere near being here now, is actually from my Kagama, and it is a Surpass Hobby rocket motor, and that one is a 4282-1780 kV, so that thing is going to be a beast. It may, all these motors kind of may find themselves in different vehicles. The 4282, I think, is the biggest on the length anyways that I can get in the Kagama just because of the way the back sort of bracing goes and stuff like that. So, but either way, guys, we're going to be getting the electronics in the buggy, hoping that everything fits and that I don't actually have to remove any of this stuff, as well as go over the servo, give you guys kind of the specs on those. What's nice about the Max 8 Gen 2 is that it is a 8.4 BEC, so you can get it up to 8.4 volts, which is pretty cool. But either way, I just want to see those electronics are going to fit without having to remove all the other stuff first. So let's see. All right, so I decided to skip over doing like a little kind of time lapse sort of montage thingamajigger there because I really just wanted to see the ESC and motor in this buggy. I wanted to see if everything was still the same. The motor mount, the battery tray, they look the same, but you never know until you actually start getting them in, in the another RC. And yes, guys, they are the exact match. So Kronos XTR into the Asuga, everything is the same. Probably took me maybe 20 minutes to remove the stuff that was already in here, the battery tray and the motor mount, and put these ones in. Everything fits good. I Back here, the only kind of issue is I don't have like anything to to throw like a zip tie or something around to hold these down so they're probably gonna have to sit forward this way or they'd be kind of bouncing bouncing all around in the body plus the way the body's gonna come down here it would be a little bit tight so i'll probably do something like that eventually like before my first run i'll zip tie these in here but overall guys that was super simple super easy everything fits well what i'm gonna do now though is i'm just gonna quickly bring you guys into the servo this is a savox it's a 2262 SG now. This is the low profile servo that I had running in my drag car. It's a pretty sweet servo, guys. It wasn't necessarily cheap, but it's 300 and like about 50 ounces of torque at 7.4 and 444 ounces of torque at 8.4. Max 8 Gen 2 does do 8.4 volts on the BEC also. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power this thing up and I'm going to show you guys the servo. So again, guys, running at 8.4, we got 444 ounces of torque. So as far as it goes for a buggy sitting on a sand, that looked pretty good. Obviously, guys, you can see she's got power. The servo's got tons of torque. We're not going to have an issue at all with these tires. And even, guys, some of the other tires that I've, I've kind of showed you guys. I've showed you the MX-28s. I showed you the Shogun tires as well. All that's good. Some of you may have noticed these silver wheel nuts. That is because I now have 
the M2C 10 millimeter adapters installed. So I had kind of shown these in the unboxing video and I was gonna wait and run the buggy completely stock. I even think during that video, I said I was gonna be running the buggy completely stock for the first time. But I came down the other night, I saw these sitting here and I was like, you know what? I wanna have them on the buggy. It allowed that little bit more width, a little bit more stability. So I went ahead and threw them on. Now, the only thing I do wanna clear up is that during the unboxing video, I had sort of made a little bit of a mistake. I had talked about kind of changing up some of the parts on the buggy and that I didn't wanna add a lot of weight and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure I had talked about the Corelli 7075 shock towers as well as the Corelli 7075 chassis. But the one other thing I am gonna be adding, guys, is the 7075 diff housing and the aluminum cups. I do have plans, not right now, this won't be till next summer, but I do have plans, guys, to do some insane speed, some insane electronics in this thing. I want to have some fun with it. I want to put down some crazy power just because. I think this is a neat platform with it being an XL buggy, having the M2C adapters on it now, having that little bit more width, that I think this is kind of a cool platform for me to change up my usual sort of cars with. I've got my muggies that I can take out and bash and jump and all that kind of fun stuff, but... This thing, I, I will still be jumping in, of course, but I just mean I want to build something that is just stupid fast. I don't know how fast, but I want it to be stupid fast. And it's going to be off-road fast. It's not going to be something that you only see on the streets. I do have a set of the Method RC belted terraforms, the rears from the felony coming for it, so they are a little bit taller. Because at some point, yeah, I'm going to want to take this thing on road and just see what kind of speeds I get. But the goal guys is definitely not that it's going to be a fast off-road buggy that is just you know stupid that's what i'm hoping for i just want something that no matter what i do you know it's going to be a challenge to keep the front end down stupid stuff like that i just want to have a really really good time with it because again i think it is an absolutely crazy platform and i mentioned guys in the unboxing as well that i don't really know why you don't see more of these things everybody loves their buggies everybody loves their typhons and they do things like this with their Typhons and yet Corelli delivered something right out of the box and yet you don't see that many of them. And it seems like when I'm on YouTube and I'm kind of searching videos and stuff like that, I keep landing on the same YouTubers, the same creators, but the, I, don't, I don't really get it. It's kind of a bit of a mystery, but I have noticed in the last couple of days, a few more people have picked them up. So here's hoping for some good Asuga content. But you know what, guys? Um, that's it. That's all. We've got the electronics in it. Hopefully, the snow that's out there right now melts. I'm pretty sure I'd also mentioned that in the unboxing that right around the time I got this buggy, it was going to snow that night, and it did. We got about 12 or 13 centimeters, but it is melting because the weather does look like it's going to get nice the few, in the next few days. So hopefully, we will be able to get out and give this thing its first run. But as always, guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a great day.